guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a good old fashioned Sephora haul. This is a little bit of a collective haul because I've been making smaller orders more frequently because Sephora is really ADD lately with their 20% off rouge sale. So we've had like four of them in the past three months. It's really strange, but I'm not complaining. Um, so this is going to be the Sephora part of my haul. You can expect quite a few more hauls coming up in the very near future, including some gift ideas, things like that, because I have been purchasing quite a bit from all over Kingdom Come for the holiday season. But if you guys would like to see what I got in this particular part of the haul, then just keep on watching. So what do you guys think of the background? I went all out for my Christmas background this year. I really, really love it. I'm totally digging the like fairy lights and the glam Christmas tree. I will be doing a home tour. I get that request from you guys all the time and I will be doing a decorated home tour but probably not until a week or two after Thanksgiving. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me and I hope you choose to subscribe. If you do, make sure you ring the notification bell so you are notified of every time I upload on my channel. Okay, so I'm just gonna dive in. There's no rhyme or reason to this because I threw it all in a box. Um, and yeah, let's start here. So the first thing I picked up, I have heard a lot of good things about this Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. They were doing this as a weekly wow deal where these were like $13 which was a great deal and I ended up picking up the one in champagne. This is what it looks like. I actually have not used this particular tube yet. I got a little sample of it a while back and I do remember liking it. I've been really into like thick heavy luscious balms and masks and things like that during this time of year when it gets colder because my lips get really really chapped. So it's really pretty. It's not quite clear. It does have a little bit of an iridescence to it but nothing that's gonna make it like you know super shiny and metallic on the lips it just gives a really pretty subtle glow it is a thicker um like balm style mask thing so i'm really excited to give this a try so they have the nest amazon lily fragrance on the sephora clearance section right now this scent is quite unique and actually not one that i think i would have picked out for myself if i had been able to smell it in store before i got it this is what the bottle looks like her packaging is absolutely gorgeous as well it's very very fresh very bright floral um, it has a lot of citrus in there as well. I haven't tried this out and worn it yet because it's technically not the season. I'm a very seasonal scent person, so I do tend to burn seasonal candles and I tend to wear seasonal perfumes. Um, so this isn't really a perfume I would choose to wear at this season, but I will test it out and let you guys know what I think in one of my follow-up haul videos that I do. Um, but anyway, this is still available on Sephora's website. It's a beautiful scent if you guys are into more of a lighter, like, you know, citrusy floral scent. This is the Cinema Secrets uh, Pro Cosmetics Makeup Brush Cleaner. This is insane. I had no idea that my brushes could ever be so clean without like truly deep cleaning them. Um, I don't recommend using this by itself and never deep cleaning your brushes, but in between cleans or if you want to switch colors on your brush, this is where it's at, you guys. Um, I did end up getting the smaller bottle just to try it out because I hadn't before now. I can tell you already, though, I have already gone onto a different website and purchased the big, full-size, like, huge, giant bottle. I will never be without this again. This is absolutely incredible. All you do is you take a little bit and you dip your brush tip in and swirl it onto a paper towel or a microfiber pad, and it literally cleans your brush like that. It's amazing. So highly, highly recommend the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner, like for sure already. I didn't include all of my like samples and gifts of purchase uh, with all of the orders because this is a collective haul from Sephora, but I did throw in a few that I thought were either interesting or worth mentioning. So this is by Cora Organics and it's the Noni Glow Face Oil. So it comes in a little vial like this, a certified organic Noni Extract Rosehip Oil, Pomegranate Oil, Sea Buckthorn Oil. So I'm really I would like to see how this works. My skin is super dry this time of year, so I will let you guys know how that works out. I also got a sample of this, and I was actually really shocked. This didn't look that big on the um, like rewards area of Sephora, but when they came, I mean, they're huge. It's a huge sample. Um, this actually has a full fluid ounce in each one, so that's that's a pretty good size. These are by Diva Curl, and there is the Waves Ahead Low Poo Delight, which is like a mild hair cleanser. I love the name of it though. And then the Wave Whisperer One Condition Delight Weightless Waves Conditioner. Um, so this brand is sulfate, paraben, and silicone free, which I love silicone free hair products. I hate silicone in my hair products. It weighs my hair down a lot, but I'm so excited to try these out. There's a lot of product in here, so I should be able to try it out multiple times before I get back to you, but I'm very, very intrigued. And then the last few things that I got from the Rewards Bazaar or free, free gift with purchases um, before we dive into all the big awesome stuff that I 
I got. The first one here is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. We actually had this on there for 100 points, which I thought was great because NARS is an expensive brand. And they actually give you a really good size sample. So I got mine in the shade American Woman. So this is the shade right here. So when I did one of my orders, they were doing like a special thing in the rewards area where you can put in a code and get two deluxe size samples of fragrances. So obviously, I mean, you guys know me, of course I went for the fragrance one. So I picked out two and again, I was super shocked at the size of fragrance they give you as well as the bottles. So the first one that I picked out is the Prada Candy, which I love this scent, you guys. I really, really do, the original candy. Now the box looks just like the full size box, but you guys look at the packaging of the actual bottle of this. It's so cute. Look at, look. It's literally mini and it looks exactly like the full size. And then I also picked out the Victor and Rolf Bonbon and same situation, you guys look at the bottle. Oh my God, it's so cute. So with this haul, I hit Rouge again. Are we shocked? I'm not shocked. You should not be shocked either. Um, they gave us a choice of like, you know, a makeup bag or another one of their brushes. This is what the little bag that the brush comes in looks like. It's the little Sephora Rouge bag. Um, I really wish they would change it up this year though. I mean, the past like two years, it's been brushes. Okay, I can hear you guys behind the screen going, yeah, yeah, get to the big stuff, get to the good stuff. I ended up finally caving and picking up the Fenty Beauty, one of their, uh, what are these called? The Stunna Lip Paints. So I ended up picking out the shade Uncuffed. And again, I have worn this a couple times. And I will say that the formula of these are everything that everybody has said and more. They are beautiful. Now I will also say, it reminds me a lot of the NARS Power Matte Pigments over here the color included. So Uncuffed is this really beautiful kind of mauve rosy shade. The packaging of these is just gorgeous. I mean, come on, it, I could hang this in my tree and it would match. But um, the unique thing about this is the applicator to me. It has a very strange shape, but the funny thing is, it works so well to really line the lips and get up into the like uh, Cupid's bow area. This one is also incredibly watery, even more watery than the NARS one actually. So you gotta be really kind of careful. They're not exact, but I mean, they are actually really similar in colors. So the next product I got, I have never tried anything from this brand. I have heard my friend Samantha March here on YouTube talk about them all the time. In fact, she's kind of the one that gave me the, the push to go ahead and purchase and try this. This is by the brand Lawless and it's one of their liquid lips. It's called the Soft matte liquid lipstick and I got mine in the shade Cameron which is her favorite shade as well and Sam and I really have very very similar preferences to like colors and makeup and things like that. I have to say the packaging of this is stunning. This is a little bit more on the expensive side um, and they are more of a clean like green beauty brand. So I really would like to try out more from them eventually but this is what I started with. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is so Pretty. These smell like taffy. They smell so good. So this right here is the shade Cameron. It is definitely more of a peachy nude versus the mauve nudes that I tend to reach for most often, but I am still really excited to give this a try. I have not worn this yet, but I will obviously let you guys know when I do and what I think about it. This next product I had kind of been interested in when it first released and I talked myself out of it a lot because it just wasn't my jam. It wasn't my style of product. Then I saw that it went into the clearance section. So I decided on the one of the Rouge sales that they did that I would pick it up and give it a try. So then when I went back into the clearance section to grab a backup because I fell in love with it that much, um, it's no longer available. So I don't know if it's getting completely discontinued or if Sephora is just not carrying it anymore but I love it so much, you guys. Um, and it's not, you know, it's not new and exciting or anything like that. This is the Becca Be A Light Face Palette, and I have the shade Light to Medium. And then on the inside, you get these four face powders. So this one right here is a blurring powder. This is a brightening powder. You get a blush and a bronzer. Now, I have been using this literally every single day since I got it, and I love it so much. I am actually wearing it on my face today. I don't know, you guys. If you can find this, I highly recommend picking it up because it's beautiful. They also have a medium to deep shade um, that is available on Sephora right now. But overall, I really like this and I'm kind of sad that it's not available on Sephora. This is the Laneige Kiss and Makeup Set. So it comes with a full size of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which has like rave reviews all over YouTube. And then it also comes with three different scents of mini. You can get this, keep one for yourself, and then break these up into little stockings, give them to mother and sister-in-laws. So you get the full size of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This one is in the scent like watermelon, I think it is. I also like that you get this little spatula because nobody likes to dig their fingers into lip balms and things like that. So this actually comes with this cute little 
um, spatula that you can kind of scoop your lip balm out with, which I think is fantastic. Then you get this little mini over here in the scent grapefruit. This one is in the scent apple lime, and then you also get a vanilla. So I'm really excited to give these a try, and as always, I will get back to you and let you know what I think. So this next product I picked up, actually before it even released, like publicly, I got an early access to it, and I did pick it up, so I've been playing with it a lot. And I am deciding to do a full dedicated review on this, although I know a lot of YouTubers have already done it. I really feel like this channel needs that um, addition to it, a, you know, full in-depth review on both palettes or candles or let me know what you think down below. This is the Huda Beauty Nude Nude Palette. Now I do own both of her Rose Gold Remastered and her Desert Dusk palette, and I really like the formula of all of her shadows. This one, I will just give a spoiler alert, I think this is probably the best palette that she's ever put out. The shades in this palette are they're Shea. Like, I mean, this is this is a Shea palette here. I am going to do a full dedicated review with a look and swatches for you guys. Let me know what you think down below, but just keep an eye out for that. Otherwise, this is a fantastic, fantastic palette if you're into the like the pinky or mauve color schemes. Speaking of eyeshadows, I know somebody's going to ask me about my eyeshadow today. Um, I am actually partaking in a challenge over on Instagram with a few friends of mine. It's called the Seven Days of Fall Color Challenge, where we all are wearing a specific specific color or combo of colors for a week straight and today's was a dusty or deep green and so this is the look that I came up with today. I do tend to wear a lot of green on my eyes. I love this like green emerald eyeshadow look. So this isn't anything foreign to me but I really like the way it came out. So if you guys are interested in checking out that challenge head over to my Instagram. I always have the link to all my social media handles down below. Moving on to the rest of the haul. We just have a few more things left and these are going to be probably my favorite things out of the entire haul. Um, um, speak of face products, you guys, I, I did it. <sighs> I wasn't going to do this. I, I had talked myself out of it. This is incredibly expensive, you guys. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4. So Hourglass comes out with one of these pretty much every holiday season. This palette is $80. It is a face palette and it comes with six of their like top um, powders that they have. So it looks like this. The packaging's gorgeous. I mean, I'm totally feeling this baby, like cool tone pink look. So you have six of their top powders in this palette. I have not tried this. This actually just got to me probably about 20 minutes ago and I haven't even dipped into it yet but I've heard nothing but rave reviews about the hourglass powders. I will let you guys know what I think when I do end up trying these out. They do look beautiful and I mean hourglass packaging and everything is very very beautiful and sleek so we shall see. This next product is probably my number one favorite thing that I have purchased in a long time from Sephora. This is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Diamond Balm All Over Diamond Veil. Basically, this is a glitter balm of a highlighter. I'm actually wearing this on my cheeks today, you guys. Now, I will say, if you are not a fan of glittery highlighters, this will not in any way, shape, or form be for you. This is what the, pa or the compact looks like. It has this like glittered effect all throughout the compact. And you open it up and the highlighter looks like this. I would say the formula is very similar to the Stila Heaven's Hue highlighters where they have almost that putty texture. Yes, it is glitter, straight glitter. What I love about it is I love that I can layer it over top. So what I'm wearing today on my face is actually something you're gonna see in my Ulta haul. Um, for a highlight and then I have layered this uh, diamond balm over top and it is just the most gorgeous highlighter ever. So when you swatch it, this is what it looks like. It, it just makes you look wet and glistening and beautiful. So this is with my phone's flashlight. Can you just see that glittery, beautiful effect? It is so stunning, you guys. Like I cannot even express how beautiful this is. And last but not least, my last product is Home Fragrance. Who would have thought that I got Home Fragrance from Sephora? But I recently saw this on, oh gosh, who was it? I want to say it was Steph's channel over at Babs Beauty. Don't quote me, but I think it was. But this was a new brand I've never heard of. So I did end up picking one of them up. Not going to lie to you. I could have cared less about the scent because the packaging of this is like stunning. So this is by the brand Voluspa. And this is the candle, you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> These are so luxe looking. Now, they're not overly expensive. This is a 16 ounce candle and it is about $28. So it's a little bit more pricey than like your traditional Bath and Body Works or whatever. But I mean, just for the packaging, oh my dear god. Um, it's gorgeous. I will definitely repurpose this. You would be a fool to throw this packaging away. 
So I got mine in the scent Copper Clove, and this is Clove Spice, Amber, and Autumn Squash, which sounds very, very fall, obviously. But I am getting a strong like apple cider vibe from this, at least on cold sniff. What I also love about these is that they are coconut wax, and I love coconut wax. It's also a completely cotton wick, which is also really nice. And these candles are phthalate free. So it's a better brand for you, I guess, as far as the you know home fragrance goes. It is a single wick candle, but I'm hoping that the uh, fact that it's a coconut wax which tends to melt at a very low point will make sure that the wick doesn't um, you know cause any tunneling or things like that so I love pretty much the entire idea of this candle as long as it performs I will definitely be repurchasing more of them and trying more scents but seriously can we just one more time with that packaging and that is it for the Sephora haul, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Like I said, this will not be the only haul that I'm doing in the near future. There's a lot of orders that are still not arrived to me yet. I've done a lot of shopping this holiday season. It's not even the holiday season yet. It's not even Black Friday yet, and I've already we've gone a little ham. So let me know down below what you guys think of this background. If you like it, if you think it should stay, because I'm totally living for it. I'm not gonna lie. I put a lot of effort and time into my Christmas tree, which you can't even see. You can see a little bit, but like seriously, this is a six foot tall tree and it is gilded in just white and silver and glitter and gold and Oh, it's so pretty. I will, like I said, be doing a home tour. I'll obviously feature this tree as well because this is like my favorite thing I've ever. And obviously it's so bougie that Nick wouldn't let me put it in our bedroom, which is where I was originally gonna put it. But he said no. So it came in here and I'm not mad about it. If you guys have not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe down below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Once destroyed A broken heart that was already shattered